Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is Hopeful Chewbacca, back of the Church of Chewbacca. Today what we're going to do is we're going to go over the Silver One Reward Pack. I know a lot of people are starting to get there now nowadays. Um, so we're going to go over all five of the cards in this pack, who I think's the best, who I think you should pick in certain situations, because all of these cards are obviously going to be good cards. Um, I just think that, I, that there are certain preferences over who you should pick in which situation who you shouldn't. So I'm going to go over each card and then I'm going to give suggestions of who you should pick depending on what your team looks like whenever you get to this pack. So let's go uh, on right now and open this pack. So it's going to be these five players. The 2012 MVP Buster Posey. It's going to be the Prime Mini Minoso. Prime Reggie Jackson. It's going to be 1995 Silver Slugger Barry Larkin. And it's going to be the Signature Series, Ryan Sandberg. All right, so we'll go. We'll start from Posey and work our way over left to right. So Buster Posey, he's a catcher. He played for he played for San Francisco Giants. Still plays for San Francisco Giants. Um, he can all his secondary's first base, diamond hitting, diamond defense. Not surprising. It's a 99 overall card. As you can see, he hits left-handed pitching better than right-handed pitching. For left-handed pitching, he just absolutely mutilates the ball. Has very high vision at 93. Good discipline. As you can see, defensively, a great defensive catcher. Doesn't have the biggest arm at 82 arm strength, but that's not bad. As you can see, he has 95 blocking. Now, I don't know how much you guys have played or thrown the ball under the dirt yet this year. However, blocking is super important. Because I right now, I have Gar uh, Mitch Garber, who I think is a great budget catcher. Actually, he might be my favorite catcher in the game that's live series, to be honest. However, his blocking is low. I think it's like 60 or 50, somewhere around there. And he misses the ball a lot. It's cost me stolen bases by my opponents and even a runner, run or two here or there. Anyways, I feel like the 95 blocking and blocking in general this year is a very important stat for a catcher to have. Let's look at his quirks. Um, his, his quirks are... Hitting Machine, 2020 Vision, Walker, Vacuum, Sniper, Pressure Cooker, and Unbreakable. Um, the fact that he has Sniper means that he's going to be very accurate when he throws the ball. Um, I think that'll help for people that don't use button accuracy and just use hitting the buttons. I, I do think that attribute will help. As you can see, he has Vacuum, which means he excels at blocking pitches. We just talked about that. I think that that Quirk will really help him. And he also has Hitting Machine, 2020. And Walker, I think Walker's an important uh, quirk to have for anybody because it allows them to check swing a little bit better. And I know everybody, sometimes you see a pitch and then all of a sudden it breaks, especially on higher difficulty. So I, I think being able to check swing helps a lot. Anyways, I think this Buster Posey's a great card. Um, definitely be a, a good pickup for anybody that needs a catcher. Next is Mini Minoso. Uh, Mini Minoso, he can play four positions in this game. Essentially, the entire outfield and third base. He's a right-handed batter, right-handed thrower. Um, he is diamond hitting, gold defense. As you can see, very good vision at 122. Great contact and decent power from each side, 80 and 73, right and left respectively. Um, I think this will be also another great card. Um, 80, especially with his speed, he has 87 speed, which means he should be able to flag down a lot of balls in left field. You could probably even put him in center field um, with his speed. Uh, for stealing, I mean, if you're good at stealing, I'm not the best at stealing, so I don't factor in for me personally the steal and base uh, running aggressiveness as much as some other people do. However, the base running aggressiveness at 92 and the stealing at 81 are also pretty good attributes. You want anything... For stealing uh, and stuff like that, over 80 um, is typically what I look for if you're looking for somebody that is uh, good for stealing bases. He also has 88 bunting, which might come in handy here or there if you need to sacrifice bunt. Um, let's go look at his quirks. Um, his quirks are hitting machine, 2020 vision, walker, speedster, thief, pressure cooker, unbreakable, and bunt master. Um, so with the speedster and thief, he should be able to steal bases pretty well as I previously just mentioned um, the walker once again allows for more check swinging hitting machine 2020 vision will obviously help for getting base hits 
Um, pressure cooker is another good one for somebody with clutch hitting. As you could see, he has good clutch stats. This is my this is Mini Minoso. I mean, he's, he's going to be a good player. Um, once again, these cards are 99 overall, so they're all going to be pretty good. The next is Reggie Jackson. So Reggie Jackson can play anywhere in the outfield. His primary is right field. Um, as you can see, he crushes right-handed pitching and left-handed pitching. Um, hits right-handed pitching a little bit better than left-handed pitching. Obviously has tremendous, tremendous power. 100 plus from each side of the plate. His 80 vision is on the lower end for these cards. Um, I do think that 80 vision is more than enough at the higher difficulties to be able to hit the ball solidly. Um, as you can see, though, he's only a silver fielder, so he doesn't have great fielding. He only has an 80 uh, arm strength. 71 speed, though, is uh, pretty fast for a corner outfielder, so I think defensively he won't be as bad as maybe his stats show just because he does have that 71 speed. Um, I don't think that fielding matters that much for the outfield, unlike uh, in the infield. So I think that defensively he won't he'll play above what his uh, attributes say. So we'll go over his quirks. His quirks are hitting machine, bomber, walker, thief, pressure cooker, unbreakable. Um, he does have thief, so it says he can excel at stealing bases. I personally don't think he's very fast to be stealing bases on a regular basis, but maybe this helps him get a better jump. Um, he has the bomber and hitting machine, which means he's going to hit bombs, which he should. I mean, you've seen his power 100 plus from each side. That's amazing. Um, so I would I would assume that he's going to hit home runs pretty well. Once again, has Walker good for check swinging, as I mentioned. That can be helpful um, whenever you get kind of caught up on swinging at a pitch that's out of the zone. Next is Barry Larkin. This is a silver slugger card, 1995. It's just shortstop. Only position you can play is shortstop. Uh, 86 speed, diamond defense. He's obviously going to be a good defender. Um, doesn't have ridiculous arm strength, but at 81 arm strength at shortstop is pretty good. As you can see, he's going to hit left-handed pitching better than he hits right-handed pitching, being that he's a righty. Um, typically, that's how that works. Uh, his his power against lefties is over 100, so he's going to really just mash left-handed pitching and hit it very, very hard. Um, right-handed pitching, it looks like he's going to get you a lot of base hits. 62 power, though, can still hit some dingers, so he should be uh, pretty effective as a power hitter um, from both sides. Obviously, from uh, facing left-handed pitching, he's going to be a much better power hitter. His vision is 108, which is tremendous. His stats overall are very good for a shortstop. I would say he's probably the best shortstop in the game right now um, based on his uh, attributes. Let's look at his quirks. Uh, his his quirks are hitting machine, 2020 vision, walker, sniper, speedster, and thief, and pressure cooker, unbreakable. A hitting machine, 2020 vision, uh, much like Posey and Minoso had. He's, he's going to get base hits for you. Walker, like the other guys have had too, good at check swinging. Accurate arm, which is good for the people that aren't using button accuracy. Speedster and Thief should allow him to steal bases as he is pretty fast. Should be able to steal bases pretty well. And he has Pressure Cooker. I think this card's pretty good. Um, I personally don't think this card would be the first card you pick. Even if you need a shortstop, I do think that you can get away with shortstops that are suitable um, for what Barry Larkin's offering here. Next is uh, Ryan Sandberg. Um, Ryan Sandberg hits the ball from both sides of the plate pretty much equal. He plays second base and third base. Um, diamond hitting, diamond defense. As you can see, 80 speed, good steal, good base aggressiveness. Has 90 plus fielding um, at that 92 there. Being he's a second baseman, the 78 arm strength is more than suitable. Um, with the 84 reaction time, he'll probably be pretty decent at third base as well for a secondary. Um, good vision, 100 plus. Obviously, I mentioned that he hits both sides of the ball very well. As you can see, over 100 for contact, over 80 uh, for power. So he's definitely going to hit a uh, hit the ball very hard for you. I pretty I think anything over 80 in this game, you're pretty much going to be able to hit home runs from both sides of the plate on a relatively decent pace 
Um, th these attributes are just amazing for the card and for the player that he is. I, um, I, I think this is a very, very good card. Uh, let, let's go look at his quirks. His quirks are Hitting Machine, Bomber, 2020 Vision, Walker, Soft Hands, Sniper, Thief, Pressure Cooker, and Unbreakable. Uh, the Hitting Machine and Bomber and the 2020 Vision means he's not only going to get you base hits, but he's going to get you dingers. He has Walker. Once again, I mentioned about the check swings. I think that's an uh, important thing to have. Soft Hands means that he'll field the ball very well. So there's been a lot of people that have said that they've had some errors in the infield that shouldn't be errors. With that being said, I think that the soft hands work would really help with that. And sniper for the ac for accuracy is all. I think he's going to be a great fielding second baseman. Probably be one of the best fielding second basemen in the game the whole year it's out. Um, also has thief, so should be able to steal bases a uh, little bit better, get better jumps. And pressure cooker means in clutch situations he'll hit the ball. All right, so now that we've... Reviewed the attributes of all five of the cards. I'm going to explain to you guys where, when, and where you should take these players, depending on what your team's looking like and what your needs are when you get the silver one. Uh, first off, let's get this out of the way. Barry Larkin should not be picked in this pack. Not not at silver one. I just feel like there's better options at shortstop that you can pick that aren't that aren't Barry Larkin, such as you can have a Francisco Lindor who's a switch hitter, or if you wanted to go with a budget guy, look up Alberto Mondesi. I promise you his stats will, will not look amazing, but ridiculously fast, fields everything, and I promise you his hitting plays way, 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 way above his stats. Like, it's utterly ridiculous. Also, there's other packs where you can pick Mondesi for his Player of the Month card, and I feel like that's just a better option than, than Larkin is at this point in time in the game. Not that Larkin maybe shouldn't be picked in the gold one or diamond one pack, depending on what your team's looking like. I just think for this pack, Barry Larkin is not the answer. Now moving on from that, if you do not have a good catcher, catcher is very thin in this game so far. So if you haven't done the collections and gotten Mike Piazza or have gotten Craig Biggio from doing the entire AL, um, all of the A. American League collections and you have Craig Biggio then I put Craig Biggio at catcher and pick Ryan Sandberg however if you don't have a catcher that is a good catcher so if you don't have the Piazza and you don't have the Biggio I would pick Buster Posey because I feel like catchers are super important this year when it comes to throwing balls in the dirt and you don't want to give up extra bases or extra runs because your catcher does not block the ball plus Posey's numbers are ridiculous this year I understand he's not like a switch hitter. He's only a right-handed batter. I just feel like this card's amazing, and if you need a catcher, this is who you should go with. Now, if you need an outfielder, let's say your infield's pretty stacked. You've done some face of the franchise stuff. You've looked at my showdown videos and seen, oh, man, look, I can get a Glaber, the Glaber Torres and the Correas and the... Um, and the Fernando Tatis Jr., and you need an outfielder. I think if you're going to pick an outfielder, I think Reggie Jackson is better than Minnie Minoso just because of the hitting. However, if for whatever reason you play with Reggie Jackson before, maybe Reggie Jackson isn't the answer for you and you just don't like his swing. I think Minnie Minoso, definitely being the fact he can also bump down to the third base, might be a better pick. This card last year for its signature series was absolutely filthy. Um, me personally, though, I will go with Reggie Jackson if you need an outfielder. Uh, but, I mean, I can see the argument for Minoso as well. Now, if you have a catcher and you, and you don't absolutely need an outfielder, I think that Ryan Sandberg is actually the best card in the, out of the five cards. I think he's 100% the best card. And um, I think the only reason you don't pick him is if you absolutely need an outfielder or you don't have you don't have a good catcher. Like right now I'm rocking with Mitch Garver, the rest of my team is Diamond, so I'm going to pick Buster Posey. However, that's because my catcher situation is atrocious. If you have a decent catcher, like you've already done the collection to get Craig Biggio, or you have the Piazza from doing the NL West, um, 
I would recommend Sandberger. If you just picked the Gary Sanchez from earlier and he, you already have Gary Sanchez as a catcher, I would pick Sandberger. Because Sandberg I, is the best card out of these five cards, according to attributes, according to the way they're going to play. I think Sandberg's the best card, just so you guys know. Um, but I'm going to pick Buster Posey. So I'm going to submit the uh, selection. I'm going to add him to my roster. I'm going to put him in here for Mitch Garver. I'll adjust my lineup. Anyways, so I'm going with Buster Posey because I needed a catcher. I do think Sandberg's the best card, though, just so everyone knows. That being said, I appreciate everyone for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you enjoy these videos and this content. Also, give me a thumbs up because that really helps the video and let me know that you're actually enjoying the content. Leave any of your comments uh, down in the comment section about what you want to see next or if you have any questions about the Packers or the players. Or maybe you just think that um, Buster Posey isn't the right answer and you're no matter what you think Sandberg is the answer even if you don't have a good catcher we can have a discussion about it and I would love that I, I, I love people's feedback and, and that's what I'm doing this for is to build a community and have great feedback with that being said if you want to watch me live you can watch me at twitch.tv slash hopeful Chewbacca 8 30 p.m to 10 30 p.m Monday through Thursday uh, on the weekends Friday through Sunday the times vary if you want to know when I'm going to get on on those days Follow me at Twitter, at Hopeful1137. And then also people have been asking me why PSN is to add me, to ask me questions. Um, my PSN is Hopeful1137. Um, just that being said, guys, I really appreciate all the support you've been giving me. And you guys have a great day and be safe.